Living their lives out on reality TV took a rocky turn for Ryan and Tatum O'Neill. The father and daughter have, well, they've had a turbulent relationship for quite some time now, but now a new chapter for the troubled duo. ABC's David Wright has the latest. One of Hollywood's favorite father-daughter duos struggled to reconnect after years of being bitterly estranged. Riveting stuff for reality TV. She needed me. But we needed you too. For the new Oprah Winfrey Network, a home run. But according to TV Guide, the Hollywood happy ending of Ryan and Tatum was too good to be true. We only reconciled on the show, not in life, Ryan O'Neill told TV Guide. In fact, we're further apart now than when we started the show, so thanks, Oprah, for all your help. A spokesman for OWN had no comment. It's the classic situation of someone unwilling to own and take responsibility for their own inappropriate actions. It ain't as if you was my pa, that'd be different. Well, I ain't your pa. The O'Neills clearly have had their share of problems since they stole people's hearts in Paper Moon, as they confided this summer in GMA. What is it that holds you guys apart? Pride. In one word. I thought I had all the pride. It turned out, no, there's someone with more than me. <laughs> But Ryan O'Neill's spokesman is now backpedaling on the TV Guide quote. That is a very old statement the magazine just published. They are, of course, still working on strengthening their relationship, which is an ongoing process. The spokesman noted that Tatum O'Neill joined her father in court just a few weeks ago to offer support as her half-brother Redmond faced another drug charge. Whatever the truth, life is more complicated than reality TV. Perhaps there's room for a sequel. For Good Morning America, David Wright, <laughs> ABC <laughs> News, Hollywood. Uh, to... George, I know you remember when they were here in June, it was tense to say the least. Boy, it was. You could see that distance on the couch, and they were really watching each other so warily. And I remember Howard Stern had said something on his show that morning that had kind of set them off. So we, we wish him the best.